is a touch of tarot and there will be an extended on all the zodiac signs so you can check that out if you're interested links are below libras it looks like right now we're starting off with this energy about isolation um just getting away whether it be from family friends doing the mundane things like groceries you just need a break and you need to kind of get clear about things in your life and what's best for you you are protected during this time and if you feel like you need to take a rest you are being guided to please take that rest and with this card coming in reverse though there's not reversals this is about chasing dreams but I just feel like right now not necessarily chasing I shouldn't say but getting receiving going for um, and I do see with this in reverse that right now you know that may be on hold you may just be trying to figure out how to get what you want there is no reversal in this deck so it tells me that soon enough you will get out of this dome energy this protective dome and you will start going for what you want okay Libras let's see what the cards have in store for you thank you so much for being here thank you so much for being a part of my community our community it's growing and I'm anticipating big growth and big changes in all of your life okay so wow let's see you have to get out of your heads Libras definitely the energy showing up right from the start with the nine of swords something that's been overwhelming for you you just don't know what to do anymore and I do feel like maybe even a little pain has come with this situation um not too too much but enough that you're like what am I supposed to do enough that you kind of succumb and and kind of fall on this like you're just in pause because of whatever has happened here let's see what else some sort of a foundation may have been cracked it's really just you needing some time to heal okay you may have hurt yourself recently I hope not if you did don't worry you're gonna heal focus on that but more so what I'm getting here is because of whatever has happened or that whatever's going on in your mind you're just stuck I'm sorry to give you such a repeat message but you got the hangman now there's what can I say right um you're looking over things from the past you're looking over at a failed relationship or a failed love energy and it's not that it's failed it's just I'm hearing doom and gloom. And so I think that that's more your bringing that energy out, right? Like you're just being maybe a little down about the situation. Um, there's enlightenment that's coming from this, okay? And I do believe you're going to be opening up. I think you kind of had shut down maybe towards someone or towards something with the Princess of Cups in reverse. Um, but for some reason, when I see this in reverse, I actually feel that this one has to do with eventually opening up or coming out of that shell or coming out of this hangman position, okay? Let's look more into that part of it. Yeah, you are going to get your strength back. You are going to stand up tall. This may also be someone coming towards you that's finally ready to take some steps. Um, this could be someone you had kind of a toxic relationship with or some toxic toxicities involved in it, but definitely a deep connection. But someone is about to stand up. Things are about to change is what I'm getting here. Um, let's clarify this one. Yeah, so someone was holding back either from making this change. Now, Libra, we already know you're the one that needs to chase your dreams or wants to chase your dreams. But I am seeing that, you know, a love relationship put you on pause. And now you know where you're going to go. You know what you're going to do. Actually, what I do see also with this energy of holding back. Yeah, you're not kind of it's interesting what it looks like you're doing Libra is putting love on hold to have a fresh start. Look at, we have love here. It's just on the bottom, right? Like you're just putting it on hold right now. You're taking a pause. You're really reevaluating, but you're going to be going into something new after that. Look at the wheel of fortune in reverse. So this may be something completely unexpected as well. Like the wheel of fortune is already unexpected. Interesting. We need to clarify that wheel of fortune for sure. Wow. Okay. There's something that you've really wanted. Look, it, it could be something or someone. I am seeing three kings here, ace of pentacles. Um, you know what's going to happen, kind of? It may be unexpected that you may have a lot of suitors coming towards you. Um, of, is this another king? Yes, it is. And here we have the nine of wands. But let me put that back. You may be having a lot of, you may be becoming very attractive to people. And it may possibly be because you've put love on hold when you're not chasing something is when it comes to you. That's why I wanted to make sure I corrected myself by saying you're chasing your dreams. You're not chasing them. You're going to be going for them. 
and probably because you've put love on hold and now you're going to become like the most desirable person in your community. <laughs> Seriously, six of cups. So someone may be coming out of these people that's from your past. I do feel like right now you're very strongly saying no. Okay, so let's just see what that's about. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, because you're actually chasing or going for your dreams, Nine of Cups. And I feel like the advice here is only once you go for yourself, will you be ready to allow someone in? Um, should you allow someone in? It's really about going for what you're focused on, because I think that whatever someone's giving you, it's not enough. OK, something like that. And I do feel like it could be someone from your past that you actually do desire and do want, um, even though you have you're going to have multiple people coming in. But you've taken a break from it and it, you just put it on the back burner. OK, Libras, that's really interesting. Let's get into this a little more Okay, before I go into the extended. But I do. I'm very curious as to what this is about. Oh, wow. So judgment and the devil. So two majors here. Um, yeah, you've really changed your perspective on what's important here. Because I guess if it's a love situation, what's the point of being in it when you're not getting what you want, or you're getting hurt, or you're being mentally hurt as well, you may be running around chasing your mind, like what's going on here, and you're just done. There's something really profound about the wheel of fate. Uh, fortune in reverse with the fool card and I want to look at that specifically the prince of gems yeah I do feel that you're just taking a break and building yourself this talks about being a builder um, this talks about having a fresh start at building and going for something that you want you are gonna just if you especially if you're a female you have options coming in. Okay, let's get back to that now. What is this about? Who's this? Who are all of these? So the person you may be interested in, I'm seeing fire here, okay? Fire and fire. This is the two matching that's come out so far. Um, there may be a fire sign that you're interested in. However, that fire sign looks to be tied up. Let's talk about that for a minute. The Ten of Cups. So it could, oh, and I'm seeing the Hierophant and the Six of Swords came up. So it's really about a love relationship that's loveless. Okay. So if there's one person that you truly desire, it does not have to be a fire sign. It looks like that person at this time is uh, at the end of a relationship. They just have to be the one to take their power back and break free. That's, it's just a reoccurring message. Um, and go for what they truly want the Hierophant and the Sun. But that would require them to come out of a long-term commitment and take the actions to do that. You may be dealing with someone who is your twin as well as what I just heard, okay? Well, I heard twin. So, yeah, ending. An ending is definitely needed. What's this about? Something has happened with the communication about that ending to the maybe the Princess of Pentacles. Let me see. So... What I am getting here is that you have someone that wants to come towards you. And really, it is about a fresh start. Um, it's interesting. Let me just see here. You know, Libra, you're going to be taking on this very strong role of being the mover, the shaker, the builder, and doing things your way. You're going to be single. You're going to be happy. I'm telling you, no matter what, you're going to have everything come in that you want. Um, but I do feel that what you want mostly, it's not about sec financial security. It's about passion and love and intimacy. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Um, there's some sort of a new beginning here. Let's just see what's coming up. Wow. Now we have three Queens out here, but we do have this queen energy here. Um, and the queen of swords. Oh gosh. Okay. So there's two stories here. Let me get into this. Wow. Okay. Um, there's one story coming out here where there is an unhappy marriage. There has been an affair going on and a tower energy. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's not good. This eight of wands and the three of swords, this person, um, there's a breaking free energy getting out of this situation. I hear a love triangle going on here. And there's another situation over here, Libra, where you or someone, maybe one of these gentlemen, um, want to give you 
a full commitment. That's the best way to put it. Cause I'm not, when I want to say security, it's, it keeps on deleting security from me. I feel like you're already secure. Okay, but this person wants to make you the queen of pentacles. They want to make you their number one. Right now, you're showing as the princess of pentacles because you're busy doing your own thing. And to be honest, also, you may be transforming. You may be coming out of your princess energy into your queen energy. Very interesting. Look, at we have the devil here. Now, this could really just be talking about you going for what you want, because in this deck, the devil is a business person. Um, they're wearing a suit and a tie, and they have a lot of people working for them. It doesn't have to be negative, but I do feel that you are going to be going for something you want. Sorry, let me just take this in. This There's someone here that's obsessed with you as well. Let's get into that. What's that? And, you know, it's probably the person you walked away from. Look at the four of cups here. Confusion, not knowing what to do, wanting to come towards the person they're desiring, but for some reason not. What, what's that about? Probably because you're pushing them away, right? So we have the magician here. I do feel that this person is watching you, um, wanting and figuring out how to come towards you, okay? So let's move in to the extended on Patreon. If you're interested, join me. Um, I'm going to pull one more card for you while we're here and just see what that's about. Let's get married. There is an energy here like this person wants to marry you. Okay, uh, because Princess of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, and this is representing your energy here. Interesting, there is an unhappy marriage here, okay, as well. So Libra, hope to see you next door. Bye for now.